previously on the Youth Edition. of this team has got the job done and we get a win here at Wembley and we will be playing in the Premier League next season Saga! Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of the Youth Edition it's Oldham Athletic it's Dylan Allen on a quest for Champions League glory. It's time to sit back, relax, and get in that comfy chair, put it on the big screen TV, crack your favorite beverage, because here we go with the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome to season number five. We have made it. We are into the Premier League. We went through, if you didn't see the uh, the season finale, probably worth going and checking that out to see how we actually got through here. But uh, we are here. We are in the Premier League, and now it is time to really start building and bolstering this squad because uh, we are one step closer to, uh, you know, having a crack at the Champions League. It's our first season here in the Premier League. Uh, we've got a lot to take care of. We've obviously got a transfer window. Uh, we'll see if we can get some games into this one. I've got no idea. I'm hoping for a pretty big uh, transfer window here. We probably need to bring in a few players if possible, uh, but they need to be the right players. I don't want to, you know, oversaturate this club with regents just because we can. Uh, to be fair, I don't even know how much money we've got to play with we'll be even able to afford a big decent player but uh, let's jump into it first and foremost we've got a player upgrade right today's player upgrade is for Taylor the Canadian central defensive midfielder with the potential to be special uh, this one comes from Winception uh, he's gone with the number 97 because it's the favorite player from his beloved Edmonton Oilers they are a uh, a hockey side, an ice hockey side. I know this shit. Uh, short sleeves because Canadians can handle the cold. Orange sweatband and a black bracelet. We've done that. And then you ask for some red and white boots. Now, I found these uh, nice little looking uh, Adidas glitch, red, white, little bit of black there. Just sort of ties his whole look together. Hopefully, you're happy with that. If you want me to change those boots, do let me know in the comments section and we'll get that done. But Taylor is upgraded with a 97. Now, I have gone through and updated a few of the numbers. So, let's go and cover that now. Right, Maldonado, he has been given the number 99, which was Jill's number. I have made a change there, and uh, we have given Jill the number one strip. So uh, I've made some executive decisions on here, basically on our first team, uh, bringing some of those numbers into, you know, more reasonable scenarios rather than these 70s and 80s and 90s and, and you know, everything all over the place. Uh, what else have we changed up here? Barros is still number four. Uh, Kuti, 17. Klein is still number five. Uh, Awazi still out on loan. Um, Giran Jelly has had a number change. He has gone from 90 to number 6. Um, what else have we got in here? Let me just go through my little list. Um, just moving my way through. Ko has uh, kept his 31. Uh, Cameron Griffiths has kept his 25. He's owned that number. Uh, what else have we got here? I'll keep moving down. Lena has changed from 6 to 26. Um... Gavrich has gone from number 92 to number 15 because he's going to be more of a first team uh, reserves and, and in second team until, you know, he's already got that rating. And what is he, 19 years of age? So he's got the number 15. Alfie Lee is number 8, of course. Uh, Tommy Martin, we've changed from 94 to 24. Uh, Joel Edwards has gone from 41 to 14. Uh, Boyce, he has gone from 71 to 27. And I think that might be about it. Oh, no, we did make one more change. Guerin, he's been given the number 10. It's barely been used in his career mode. So he goes from 37 to 10. Uh, Bernard is, of course, 11. And that should see the numbers sorted out. Um, the rest of the numbers are up for grab with new players. And obviously, some of these numbers will go if we sell any of our players off. Right, so this is how our first team will be lining up, starting off in the Premier League. Obviously, there may be additions, but I'm pretty happy with how we finish the season with this first team. So Guerin up top, he is an 80. Uh, I'm not sure how much more he's going to grow, to be fair, without training. Edwards on the left at an 80. Cameron Griffiths, 77. We'll put some training into him. I want to try and get this first team to uh, all sitting at about 80. Elfie Lee's there at 79. Co 76. Kuti, uh, I'm reluctant to training. We put a lot of training into him last season. I don't want to stunt him up too much. I want to get a little bit more of that natural growth in there. So I 
think at 75, he will still be okay. We'll see how it pans out. Klein at uh, 80, Giron Jelly 79, Barros 82, and I'm gonna put some heavy training in here to Jill because uh, we need a solid goalkeeper here for the uh, for the Premier League. We've got Olsen, Binhammer, Gabrich, Cooper, Rishi, uh, Martin, and Delphis coming off the bench. So my reserve team is looking like this at the moment. Binhammer up top, 72. Boyce is going to play that camera roll for me just now. Uh, Martin on the left is the captain. Han on the right. Gabrich is going to come into this team and try and get a few extra minutes uh, in the midfield there at 77. Hendrickson did a marvellous job for us last season, so he continues in that role. We're going to go with Olsen, Rishi. Cooper's going to play centre-back, so I'll probably need to find us a centre-back unless Awazi comes back from load. Carlson is going to play right back, even at 61. Cooper drops to the reserves. We've got Murphy back from load. El Masri, Henriquez, Maldonado. Uh, Delphist is there. He's probably a super sub for both teams. Don't really want to start him because I want to keep him fresh for those first team games. Taylor and Concecia are also filling that one out. Um, as for transfer action, uh, I have listed Karsdorp. He is on the transfer list. Kennedy is on the transfer list. I've had enough of his shit already. Uh, Ferreira doesn't have a potential. Morgan doesn't have a potential. So we'll see what happens with them. White, he's gone as far as I'm concerned. He can go right now. And uh, Lena, well, we didn't really get to see a lot of him. He had one good game. We set him out on loan for two seasons. And he's growing really, really slowly. So as far as I'm concerned... You know, he's not really part of this club now. So we'll see if we can offload a few of these lads, generate some cash, and maybe we can pull in one or two marquee players to at least help out the reserve team, uh, if not push for first team football. Right, so at the moment, we've got 37 million with a 15 grand wage budget. We'll probably need to adjust that to bring in a big player. It is the Premier League. So about 34 and a half million at the moment. Obviously, we've got a pre-season tournament that we can uh, simulate through and hopefully generate some cash. And, uh, you know, maybe sell off a couple of players uh, I'm not sure where we're going to spend this money just yet. I'll have to wait and see what kind of players are available. Uh, I've got scouts out looking at some of the new regens and uh, obviously some of the new free agents. So we'll see what happens if anything comes through. Um, at this stage, I haven't really got my eye on anyone that I want to bring in. It's completely up for grabs. We'll have to see how much money we do uh, generate through the first couple of weeks of this transfer window. Right, our first season in the Premier League. Let's take a look at the objectives. Good to see no critical one there because we are only on a 69 manager rating. Uh, so youth development, two seasons. Uh, oh, shit. Well, we failed that one last time. Brand exposure, 70 million in shirt sales. Whoa, okay. Uh, no continental. Domestically, a mid-table finish. They want us to finish mid-table in our first season in the Premier League. So they've got high hopes for us. Hopefully we can ride the luck and, and, and get a mid-table finish. It's going to be tough. Uh, reach the round of 16 of the FA Cup and then financially reduce player wages by £8,800. That's going to be tough and it is high priority. Within two seasons, increase the club's worth by 30% as well. So uh, some pretty tricky objectives there financially. Um, I'm not sure Dylan Allen is going to listen. We'll have to wait and see what happens. All right, pre-season tournament invites here all around the 6 million mark, all four stars. So it's not really going to matter too much, uh, but obviously we are simulating. So uh, I'm going to jump over here into the European Continental Shield. I think... Um, I think that might be our best port of call. It's not the most money, but uh, I've got a feeling like Wolfsburg and that would probably still towel us up. Uh, there's some decent size in here, FC Porto and the likes, but um, yeah, let's see if we can push through and maybe pick up a few mil in at the preseason tournament. Right, it is the final scout report here from Poland. We've got three lads, and I'm only going to sign two of them. Uh, Christian at six foot two centre back. I mean, he could probably fill a role. We obviously do need a centre back, but I'm going to hold there for now because uh, let's have a look here. Uh, Ivan Zalewski, six foot five, 69 to 93, is a possibility. Only 15 years of age. We'll bring him into the academy. And we've also got Bernard Grabowski, uh, 66 to 90, but six foot six. If he's a centre back, well, he could definitely help out that reserve team. So let's get in Zalewski and Grabowski. And uh, Christian, oh, sorry, mate, you haven't made the cut. Well, it's the final scout report from Colombia and Vasco Benitez, who we were keeping an eye on because he had a high overall. We are going to pass on. But we've got Eugenio Miranda, uh, 75 to 94 at 5 foot 8. Looks like a centre midfielder, 300 grand evaluation. Uh, we'll take a look at him in our academy. And we are in Japan. We've got two lads. I'm going to bring them into the academy just to take a look. Minoru Koizumi and uh, Atsuke Suzuki, 66 to 90. Right, so we do have an opportunity here with money to get five-star, five-star scouts, but 
Uh, I've got a feeling we probably need to spend that on players at the moment, so we'll reassess um, after this. I'm pretty happy with the scouts uh, at 5-star, 4-star across most of them. I mean, we're not really going to get that much more out of it. We're going to have to spend, you know, 3 or 4 million per player. I am sweating. I'll tell you right now, it's 39 fucking degrees. I don't know what it is in here under these lights with no fan or anything on because it fucks with the microphone, but uh, I am absolutely sweating my dick off, but uh, we've got to get this done. So uh, we're going to send out here. If you've got some new countries, please put them down below in the comment section and put a thumbs up on anywhere you would like to see us scout in the future. But jumping into this one, we've got Tom here who wants us to go to the Netherlands for physically strong. 30 thumbs up. We're off to the Netherlands. Right, next up we've got Pakistani Mario and he just wants us to scout Spain. 26 thumbs up, so we'll go to Spain for any. And the final one comes in from one of our players in Laurent Bernard. Uh, he's got in the ear of the scouts and he says, can you go to France for uh, for a right winger uh, so we can establish a total French connection? Uh, so we're going to go off to France and look ourselves for a winger. Right, we're excited to have you on board for another season and increase the transfer budget this year with 31 million. That gets you a total transfer budget of 37. Well, didn't we have 32? Uh, and you're going to increase it by 31, so that makes 62 in my mind, but you've, uh, I don't know, the numbers just don't add up. But look here, we've got an offer, our first one in for Noah White. We're going to play a little bit of hardball on White. We do want to offload him, uh, but he's 77 rated with a little bit of potential, so hopefully we can cash in. Benfica are first on the blocks. Now, his value is 8.5. They've put 10-4 on the table. Uh, we're going to send a delegation out here, and uh, I'm going to start off at 18 million. Uh, we won't sell him for anything less than uh, 14 million. Also time to get some training up. Now you can see I'm using bronze training here for Ko and Lee. The issue is the only stamina training option you have is a fucking bronze one. So they're not going to grow quickly, but we need to get some stamina. 64 for Lee isn't enough for him to be running out solid games. We've seen it in the past. He does run out of juice quite early. And uh, I do want to work a bit there on Ko as well so that, uh, you know, he's not dead if we if we really need him in back-to-back -back games. Jill is in there. We need to turn him into a top-class keeper now. He's got them 82 reactions. And Cameron Griffiths was the star of the show last year. Uh, he needs a bit of a bump after a bit of training. So, uh, or that injury last year. Let's try and get him towards that 80 mark. Right, right, we've got a couple of transfer offers in here. Now, we are a Premier League side. I know we're only a new Premier League side, but we can afford to play a little bit more hardball with teams that are coming in to poach our players. Uh, so if we feel that they should be in, unless it's a really massive offer, uh, a lot of this first team probably won't be sold. Um, Co, I mean, there's no way I'm letting him go. Not at this stage anyway. So I'm wishing Gladbach... You know, a big German side, but uh, 12.6 million, you're fucking dreaming. We're rejecting that offer. And uh, there is also an offer in here for Alfie Lee from Red Bull Leipzig. 20 million. He's valued at 19, and you only come in with a 20 million bid. I'm sorry, I'm not even going to entertain that. Reject. Right, we've got a loan offer in here for Noah Taylor. Uh, the goal, no, the central defensive midfielder. Um, so Preston have shown interest in a one-year loan. I think that's probably a good move for him to get him some game time. Um, so let's see if we can get that deal to go through. Right, first preseason game. We've got Frankfurt and Cameron Griffiths straight off the bat gets a goal in the fourth minute. It's a 4-0 victory, but Guerin Jelly has picked up a knock. Right, so they weren't willing to entertain 18 million for White, so I have to keep that in mind. And uh, just seven days with a pull groin for Guerin Jelly. Right, so I just wanted to test this. I didn't fuck with this in any way. And uh, instantly, Noah Taylor's move to Preston has broken down. Uh, so it seems that that is still an issue here on FIFA, unfortunately. Um, so we may need to do a little bit of our work behind the scenes to you know, glitch it out and make sure those loans go through. We've got a loan offer here for Maldonado uh, on a one-year deal to the Whitecaps. Um, he's our third string keeper. Ortiz is still away on a loan. Um, but he's not really going to get any game time, to be fair. We've got two keeping options at this stage. But if Cooper does go, then we might be in trouble. Uh, so I'm just going to hold on to Maldonado for now. We'll just leave that there. Right, we're away here against FC Porto. Henriksen is playing centre-back. Uh, I did an autofill, and they decided that Henriksen was better than Rishi, better than White, uh, better than any centre-back that we had. 
to come in and uh, so he's partnering up with Klein and we get a 2-0 victory. Guerin and Lee with the goals. Time for another little training session. Right, West Ham have put in an $8.9 million offer here for Noah White. Now, uh, we don't really want to sell him to a Premier League side because uh, that may come against us at some stage even though we know he's trash. Uh, so I will delegate this one. Uh, I'm going to start the, the offers still at $18 million and uh, we won't sell him for anything less than, let's say, 13 for West Ham. Right, third game of the preseason. Should see us go through. We've already won the first two games, so we'll give the reserves a run out here against Stadder and I, and it's a 4-0 victory. Thank you very much for coming. Right, here is a big offer. Leicester City are uh, in for Joel Edwards. Now, 80 overall came really good in that uh, second part of the season once we moved him over to the left-hand side. But 26 and a million is 7 million more than his evaluation. We know he's got a pretty decent potential. Um, but it is at Leicester. You'd assume that they would start shipping around for especially freshly promoted clubs. So I'm going to actually put a delegation on this one. Uh, but we're not going to let him go lightly. The board reckons start the offer at 44.7 million. And you know what? Done. Well, there's an extra million into the kitty. Right, we've got some offers in here. It's a loan offer uh, for Noah Taylor from CD Ferenz. Oh, however you say that, uh, I will accept this one. We need to get him some game time. And we've got a transfer offer in. It is from Napoli. They're willing to pay 7.3 million for uh, young Patrick Kennedy. Well, we know he's got potential. He's rubbish for us, uh, but he could be a big star in the future. Uh, maybe oh, some time in Italian football will help him out. We will go ahead and delegate an offer here. Uh, I'm going to start it at uh, 12 and a half million, and we won't let him go for anything less than 10. Right, once again, Taylor's move has been rejected, so we definitely need to uh, loan glitch that one. Uh, a transfer offer here from Arsenal for Cameron Griffiths, and uh, unfortunately, Leicester City not willing to pay 44.7 million for Joel Edwards. Uh, we're just going to tell Arsenal to fuck right off here. You're not coming in for Cameron Griffiths. He's worth way more than that to us, so uh, a flat-out rejection. Right, semi-finals. The first team suits up here against Arba. Edwards gets the penalty, and it's a 4-1 victory. We're through to the final. And it's another training session, and there we go. Cameron Griffiths hits a 78 overall. Oh, there's a transfer offer in here for Ernst Lennes. Value's 1.1. They've only offered 970. Uh, so we'll offer a delegation here, and uh, we'll bump that up because he is valued at 1.1. We we'll want to get at least uh, 1.34 minimum. And another 2.6 million into the kitty. Right, hand of a 96er in for Noah White. 10 million on the table. Well, we know 18 million isn't going to work, so um, we're still waiting on what West Ham come back with. We're going to delegate an offer here for Hanover. Uh, we're going to go down to 16 and a half. Um, we will play a bit of hardball, though. Right, uh, Tussman are happy to pay 1.3 million for Ernst Lennart. Well, I think we'll cash in on that one. Hopefully that goes through. Accept. And it's time for the final of the European Shield. We've got FC Porto. The first team will roll out here, and it's a 2-1 fucking loss. That's not good, boys. Come on. Right, Hanover not willing to pay 16 and a half million. I think they've been watching the tapes uh, because no one agrees that he's worth that kind of money. So we may have to lower our expectations here. And Napoli don't feel it's enough for Kennedy. So we can't get any work done here. Right, we've got a loan offer in here for Concierge to Orlando City. Uh, we will go ahead and accept that. The Brazilian off to the MLS, possibly. And a transfer offer in for Binhammer. Uh, 6.6 .6 million. <laughs> Oh, shit, I went into negotiate. Right, negotiations with Binhammer. They're all willing to offer six and a six. Uh, let's pro pro you know, propose a new fee. Uh, let's say, you know what? If you've got 100 million, you can have Binhammer. Nope, too much. <laughs> See you later, dickhead. You got on a plane for nothing. Right, let's keep that training moving. There we go, 65 stamina for Lee Go, son. Well, an interesting one in here. It is Huddersfield Town coming in for Don Sun Han. Now, uh, he's playing in the twos, but now 75 overall and really showing some signs uh, of things to come. So I've got high expectations that he'll be able to do something uh, in this career mode. But you know what? He's a reserves player. Uh, if we can bolster our first team with the money that would come in from Don Sun Han, we'd have to uh, entertain it at least. Uh, start the offer at 18 million, they reckon. Yep, that's fair enough. But I'm going to bump this up to 15. Right, Minnesota United have come in for Lena, but I'm pretty sure he's already on his way out. Uh, so we are just going to go ahead and reject that one. Right, a transfer offer here for Morgan. Now, here's the 67 overall center attacking midfielder that we thought it would be awesome, but uh, with no potential, 1.1 million. Uh, so let's go and see. His valuation is 1.1 million. Uh, but uh, I'll delegate this one. We want to get a couple out of him at least. Let's go for two and a half and uh, at least two. 
Right, we've got a youth squad monthly report. At this stage, I probably won't sign anyone until the transfer window is finished, so we know, you know, how our squad is looking. Max Green, 84 to 90, has dropped down a little bit there. Ethan Smith, 86 to 92. Eugenio Miranda, we've just signed 60 overall, 77 to 94 potential. Here's a playmaker. Uh, Marcos Andrade, 83 to 89. Portuguese has dropped away. Uh, Koizumi, 75 to 89. Probably not going to make the cut, but we'll hold for now. Jordan King, 81 to 91. Uh, Zalevsky, 68 to 88. Unfortunately, not what I was looking for. Six foot five, though. Striker will hold for just for now. Grabowski, 58 overall. Six foot six, 73 to 93. Physically strong, so it could be an option if we are short on centre backs. And Suzuki, uh, that's not what I was looking for either, unfortunately. But we'll let them sit there and marinate just for another month. Right, Leicester have obviously got some money to burn because they've come after our captain in Farmio Barros and they're only willing to pay 35 million, so we will go ahead and reject. But uh, Huddersfield have come back and said they are willing to pay 18.7 million for Don Sun Hare. Now that is double his evaluation. Uh, I think that is something that we really have to entertain here. Uh, so I'm going to accept the offer and Don Sun Hare could be moving to Huddersfield for 18.7 million. And Concession has also been loaned out. He's gone to Orlando City for 12 months. Right, we've clicked over a month. Jill has hit 80 and Alfie Lee has hit 80 as well. But let's keep that training going. We need these boys fit and fire and ready for the start of the Premier League season. Right, our first scout report is back from France. Adrian Malay, 66 to 90. And Aurelien Perrault, 68 to 94. We will monitor those lads further. And we are in Spain. The only lad really to keep an eye on here at the moment is Andreas Castillo, 71 to 94. Goalkeeper, 5 foot 11. Probably not a high prospect for this team. And we are in the Netherlands. We've got Rodney Vizza, 70 to 94. Daniel Vermeulen, 71 to 94. And Alexander Jacobs, 67 to 91. Right, Wigan Athletic want to have, take Noah Taylor on a one-year deal. So we'll accept that. We'll glitch it out and make sure he does move on. Now, if you're wondering how we do get this glitch to uh, you know, work, if you haven't seen this in action, basically we accept the loan offer, we come in here, we remove him from the loan list, and then uh, we actually add him to the transfer list, and generally, it goes through. Right, SC Braga must definitely be looking for uh, a player here. They've come after Rishi this time. Um, 10 million valuation at seven, but uh, I think Rishi's doing a really good job in the twos. And uh, we need him for now, so reject. All right, we've got some interesting news coming through here. Noah Taylor has gone through. He is off to Wigan for the season. Uh, an effort in here from PSV from Elliot Cooper, 6.4 million. Um, I think we'll entertain this, actually. We will try and get a little bit of money, though. Um, nine and a half. Yep, that's fair enough. We'll send that on its way. And uh, we've also seen the news come through that Don Sun Han has made the move. He has gone to Huddersfield, 18.7 million, 14 and a half into our budget. So uh, I think we might need ourselves a winger unless Delphis is going to play a lot more in the reserves. But uh, I've got a feeling we need to find someone at least to fill in that role. Right, now I think the man to come in and replace Don Sun Han has to be, uh, is it the Robin at Regen? He's got an awesome name in Sonny Segment. He's got a headband, he's got long flowing locks, he's got uh, the pace and skill here to really get the job done and he's already a 78 overall so he could come in here and do bids he's only going to cost us at the moment probably uh we can maybe steal him in here for for the 18 million that we just paid for don sun hand um so let's see if we can negotiate to get uh sickman over to oldham athletic Right, so uh, some interesting news developing here with the Sigman deal. Uh, I put in a $13 million offer. They came back and said, no, we want 18.9. So I said 13.5, and they said they wanted 19. I went up to 14, and they said they wanted 19.1. Uh, so then I went up to 15, and they said they wanted 19.5. I went back down to 13, uh, and they said we want 19.7, so it kept increasing. Uh, so then I gave them a $16 million offer, and they decided to, we'll have a think about it. Fuck knows. Well done. This transfer system is amazing. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get in to game number one of the Premier League season. Our first time here in the big time. We're at home uh, in front of the home fans. We're going to host West Ham. Mike Dean is the referee, and we go with Guerin Edwards, Griffiths, Bernard, Lee, Coe, Cootie, Klein, Guerin, Jelly, Barros, and Jill. Now, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can let me know, but... Um, if we start showing the Premier League graphics popping up, sometimes you get done for copyright strikes for some fucking reason. I don't know why, but uh, we'll see how we go. I'll try and slip in as much of it to give you that realistic feel. But uh, if we start getting, you know, copyright strikes, then, uh, yeah, I'm in the shit. Uh, so let's jump into this game and see if we can start our Premier League campaign off with a bang against West Ham. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is the Premier League, and as per usual at Boundary Park, it's fucking raining. Uh, we've got Oldham Athletic hosting West Ham in the opening game of the season. And uh, high expectations here. We've, we've fought hard to get here to this position, but, uh, well, it really much starts here. Uh, we've got a lot of big teams above us that we're going to have to overcome to eventually push on to be a, a European team. Um, but, you know, I've got high hopes. These boys seem to have started to grow a little bit of grit, a little bit of determination, and hopefully they want to get the job done. Uh, you know, we've been dealt West Ham here, and I used to have a soft spot for West Ham until they went and signed fucking Sammy Nazari. So now they can go and jump off that bridge over there. Fuck right off out of here. I apologise to any of the West Ham fans, but oh my days, you've signed Nazari and I'm fucking livid. But here is our street, and let's have a look here. Jill. Barros, oh geez, doesn't it look brilliant with the Premier League graphics? Hopefully, we don't get flagged here. Uh, Lee and Co. there in the midfield. We've got Bernard, Griffiths, and Edwards. And Young Guerin, the Golden Boot winner, 25 goals last season. Can he get going here uh, in the Premier League? We'll have to wait and see. Fuck West Ham's lineup. Let's just get into this game. That's quick passing. Oh, this is just another level, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Here they come, Felipe Anderson. Oh, Barros just absolutely leveled him. Welcome to the Premier League. We are all the Athletic. Finds Bernard, takes it on. No regrets here from Lauren Bernard and Jose Sar. He's the keeper today. There's a long ball. West Ham push inside, trying to do a job here. Obviously, we're in the fifth season, and there is the first fucking goal with Barros not jumping. Pisses me off that you can't change your jumping. Potential to be special defender. And it's just going to take time. I think eventually that jumping will start to grow properly. But Felipe Anderson is a quality prospect here for West Ham. Not sure what rating he is uh, five seasons into the game. But oh my day. So maybe we need to work on his strength because he really needed to do something there. Jill couldn't get close to it, unfortunately. It's a class finish from West Ham. Got a really good angle on it here. Just went top biscuits. It dives late. Jill can't quite reach it. And we are 1 0 down. Click on. Cameron Griffiths from range. Let's put it wide. Plays one forward. Bernard picked off. This is the Premier League, boys. It's not fucking cat and mouse championship action anymore. You're going to get stuck in. One ball into the middle. I'm getting sweat in my fucking eyes at the moment. And maybe that is having something to do with it, but we can't make excuses. Come on, Oldham. Dig in, boys. Tackle from Cody. And there is the whistle. Half time. 1 0 down to West Ham. Here is Laura Bernard who pulls the trigger. Another deflection. Another block from West Ham. And uh, they make themselves a substitution. Laura Bernard drives inside. Alfie Lee got a touch. And it's flicked over the back. All right, we'll make our three changes. Let's freshen up the wings with Delphis and Tommy Martin. And Gavrich will check into the midfield for Alfie Lee. 17 minutes to go here. Trying to find our first Premier League goal. Cameron Griffiths will play this one out wide. A look for Delphis to use his pace. He sets on the up here. Delphis drives inside, lays it off. Guerin lays it back out. Here is Delphis. He'll drive inside. Lays it off for Tommy Martin. Good save. A little bit of injection here from Dylan Allen. He's uh, woken this game up with Delphis using his pace. Gets it inside. Tommy Martin takes the strike. Good save from the keeper. And the corner now for Older. Oh, Rufus drives inside, and that's cleared away for another corner. And his little first time touches, Barros gets in there, but yes, that's better, Barros. Fire up the line. Ball for Fisher was in the ball from Barros. More Delphi's on. Fuck off! And there's the whistle, so we suffer a 1 0 defeat on the opening day of the Premier League season. At least we didn't get absolutely butt raped. Well, seven shots to six. They only had the one on target. and I went straight in 64% possession. And that might be the story of how this season will start unfolding. Uh, let's have a look here, though. Uh, Barros there with a 7.6. Six defensive efforts from the captain. A 6-1 for Kieran Jelly. Didn't get a touch. 6-7 for Klein. Two intercepts. A 7-5 for Cootie with six defensive efforts. So our wings were getting attacked high and dry. 
Six for Gabrich, 7.3 for Kobe with three defensive efforts, a 6.9 for Delphis. Uh, Cameron Griffiths just a 6.6 here today, a 6.5 for Tommy Martin, 5.7 for Guerin. He had one shot. He barely was able to get a touch of the ball, unfortunately. 6.4 there for Joel Edwards, missed four tackles. 6.6 six for Laura Bernard with three intercepts, a 6.7 for Alfie Lee. Uh, Jill, a 6.2. Only had to save two, and he's missed the other one with probably... Uh, yeah, not quite getting there for that one. Get voting up in the eye, though, for your player of the match for the Majestico season number five. Right, let's keep that training going, boys. Right, so they've come back again now and said it's 19.2 million for Sonny Sickman. Ah, you're so annoying. Right, this is bullshit because uh, I am just, you know, 16 and a half million. And you watch, it was 19.5, was it? Let's see what they say this time. No, oh, fuck you. Fuck you, you idiot. Right, so we couldn't get Sickman. We've been absolutely fucked over there. But uh, we've got Ian McNulty. Uh, I'm going to refer to him as the Flying Scotsman here. 76 overall at 20 years of age with a high attacking work rate. Uh, but look at the fucker's pace. 90 sprint speed. Uh, 81 acceleration, uh, 89 jumping, good balance, good stamina, uh, and 14 and a half million. I've got a deal done here, I think. 14.9, uh, his value was 15, so I've got him in underneath his value. Let's see if we can uh, agree terms because he is going to have to come in as a rotation player. Well, he wants 27 grand, he wants to be an important player, and uh, unfortunately, Dylan Allen's going to tell him to get fucked. Uh, right, so, uh, well, they couldn't agree uh, Harrison Morgan's prize tag, so. Um, yeah, he's with us. Okay, we've got some offers in here. Uh, it's an offer for Cootie. Well, we're not letting him go because we don't really have uh, much option there uh, on that side, even though it was 18.7 million. He's a potential to be special player. Uh, what else have we got in here? Ferreira, 650 grand. They've offered 720. I'll just accept that. He doesn't have a potential. And Cameron Griffiths, everyone wants a piece of Cameron. Why wouldn't he after the amount of assists he got? But we'll reject that offer. Right, Palermo are in here for, uh, they've put 6-7 on the table. Uh, so, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's uh, delegate an offer for uh, Cooper. So he wants to take the money and Maldonado. Well, we're not going to let that happen if we're dealing with our other keeper at the moment. Right, now I'm going to finish this one up here. I don't know how long this episode's been, but uh, I'm absolutely cooking. I can't even concentrate properly. The sweat's just absolutely destroying me. Uh, Man City off to a flyer. Uh, they've taken their six points along with Arsenal, Everton, and Newcastle there. Um, so we've only played the one game so far. We've got Bristol City up next who have come up with us and we did beat them uh, at the end of last season. So an opportunity here for, to pick up some points. Uh, the transfer window is still open for a few more weeks. We've got some opportunities to buy. Uh, I might try and go back in for Sigmund. We've got a bit of money to play with and we probably need to bolster these ranks just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit more of a look around off camera and uh, we'll see if there's anyone worth bringing in. But thanks very much for tuning in no player upgrade because i think we've done them all at this stage uh i will have a look at that as well um but that's it we're into the premier league we'll have another one up for you tomorrow i've been sparring dk it's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one this video is powered by neurotech and their product clarity now you can jump over to their website now use the discount code dk10 for 10 percent off your next purchase and uh, i highly recommend this product i use it every single day it increases your energy your focus while reducing fatigue and stress if you want to know how i get out all these videos and keep that work going this is the product for you so go and check it out all the information that you need is on that website if you feel like making a purchase chuck in at that discount code for 10 percent off now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.